do it in the car with Chris. And he laughed a lot. Really? And I was like, oh my God, he <laughs> likes it. But his problem is the reason he doesn't like podcasts is because he wants to respond like in time with the person. Sure. And so he was like talking over us and I was like, Chris, listen. <laughs> but he was like, I just need to tell you guys what it actually is. <laughs> Take like a live call segment. Yeah. The Maybe you we can should record somebody calling in and having reactions. But yeah, he I actually enjoyed a live it. podcast. But at the end, being on the radio, when we started talking about the book, he's like, "I don't read books. I'm done." So, well, my brother had the same problem. Yeah. We were driving to Denver, and we were listening to one of the episodes, and oh my gosh, I could not get him to stop talking. I'm like, I'm like, Josh, listen, listen this part is funny. <laughs> this is like the only funny part of this whole episode, and he's like, blah 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 blah. blah. Maybe it's because they're with somebody. Like if they were alone, maybe they wouldn't. Well, I think it might just be different for the people because Emily and I were listening to a couple episodes on our way home from Fort Collins. Of us? Of you. <gasps> Wait, a Turns couple of episodes? Like you so you were behind? I was behind. I'm sorry. This is I'm so weird. I'm a busy weird. lady. <laughs> we I'm invited you as a special guest. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Still two weeks behind. Oh, oh gosh. We even took a week off, Meg. A week behind. Oh, my gosh. Do you listen to the book part? Yeah. No, oh. I listen to the whole thing. Emily, but... Uh, Full circle point is Emily and I, we just sat silent in the car and listened and mm. we just laughed. Oh, that's Aww, good. you guys are so good to us. Thanks, you guys. <laughs> Audrey got a random message from a random person. So, hello, random person. She's not so random anymore. We're friends on Facebook. She didn't message me. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, checked afterwards and I was like, oh, my God, maybe I have a message. And then I was like, <gasps> nope. <laughs> oh, man. Sorry. This book or this podcast this week is just going to be about... Just chit chat because the book was not that good. There's okay. not much else to say we, about the we book. We can talk about the book. What right do you want now? to talk about, Meg? And then we can relate. No, no, I'm wrong person to ask. <laughs> I'll even relate my beer because I got I bought the Avalanche Breckenridge Breckenridge Avalanche for this podcast. Did so you? I, because the book was such a wreck. I mean, oh, I can talk about it, but it's pretty much going to go in that direction. <laughs> I, I like I mentioned earlier, I just had leftover beer. And I was like, let's do this. Let's do this podcast. Beth is got one foot into this <laughs> podcast. It's a hard. Okay, it's hard. It's a hard commitment, but it's a worth. It's a worthwhile commitment. It's just something like you have to make into a habit and like. It's work. Right. And we you, broke you think it, that last week. And now yes. It's and now just, it's hard to get back into well, it. Well, I think you th- I think it sounds like, hey, let's just record a podcast. And then it goes on the internet and stuff. But there's a whole lot more. Like There's so dude, much involved. They were sound checking for like 25 minutes. And that was after the first hour of sound checking. <laughs> <laughs> well, we had to re-sound sound check. Amazing. We had to re-sound yes. check when Megan got here because I was like, oh, a third person. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, we only have two mics. And. But if this goes well. No, the sound quality is not going to be good. <laughs> She's like, no, we're not inviting Meg back. <laughs> um, heads up, today is Megan's first day as our intern. Oh, you're our new sound I did engineer. Not apply for that our sound oh, engineer. It's so easy. Thank no. you so, so much. Apply for that we're so proud of you. No. We are so thankful. No, and we love out, you. I didn't apply for that position. And I love I that you have posted, Sundays I was off. Not interested. You have Sundays off, so thank you're going to. Thank you, but no thank you. You're going to edit this episode no, every you. Sunday. No, I love you. it. No. So if the episode sucks, blames Megan. No. <laughs> Blame Megan. Audrey at Audrey Wills Home Wow, you said my whole name on the podcast. I didn't say your middle name. Oh, my God. Yeah, Which is you? Miriam. No. <laughs> All right, that's getting edited. Look at her face. That's the edit face. <laughs> so how's your life been, Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, Stop it. Ah, uh, Stop it. My life's been good. I've just been trying to keep up with my new job. I got a new job, and it's very stupid and mathematical, but awesome. I like it a lot. And I got that, like, I don't know, three weeks ago. And that's my life. <laughs> She's a mountain biker now. Yeah. Yeah, Zeb and I got bikes, and we've been cycling, like, twice a week. <laughs> <laughs> and Zeb loves it, and I am struggling. <laughs> Hardcore. Uh, the last one we went to was, the whole place was burned down to a crisp. Oh, that was the burn scar? Yeah. And it just wasn't enjoyable because a lot of, ha- like, a cycling 
adventure <laughs> is your surroundings. And, and there's nothing here. Huh? And there's nothing here. No. Charred it, trees. It was just charred. It, it was just depressing. So I left not energized. I, I left like... <sighs> I, I will say three, and now it's not. I will say I think Zeb cycling will slowly get him into camping. Colorado life. I hope so. That involves camping. I'm so excited because the best way to go biking is to bring your bike on a camp trip. Yeah, I made that up, but I think it's true. I think no. it would work. I think it. Oh, work. for sure. Totes. Ooh. I just don't. I don't think he understands how comfortable you can still be camping. Yeah. Like with your dogs. Oh, it's, it's so, so much fun. Are you gonna like, bring your you dogs? To... Yes. Yeah. Diesel. Yeah, I'll bring Diesel. Kyrie. If we go camping, I'll bring them. I love them. They're love pretty them. easy. Uh, yeah. So I have two dogs. Megan has two dogs. We're roommates, so <gasps> therefore we have four dogs. Spoiler alert. And a cat. And and we have a cat. In Is, there. And don't you have like two new iguanas? No iguanas. Not oh. yet. Dog hair is a condiment in our household. <laughs> oh my gosh. We have so many. But I love it. I wouldn't have it any other way. I want to make sure that's clear. <laughs> Don't move out is what she's saying. I need okay. your rent. <laughs> no, I need your puppies. <laughs> it's true. She secretly loves Peyton. It's weird. Two dogs is a lot. and then you, But then you get used to having four dogs and you're like, if you go back to two dogs, it doesn't seem that's like That's just enough. sad. I want and a dog. Anytime I say, yeah, they're like, how many dogs do you have? Because when Four. I say the word dogs, they're like, two. How many is that? And I, like, I, I have to break it down before I say four. I'm like, well, <laughs> you got to ease them into you. it. <laughs> My roommate has two. <laughs> oh, Therefore, we have four. <laughs> I never say four. I just yeah. leave it at that and walk away. I never do that. <laughs> Zeb does, but I, I'm not a Four troll. dogs, bye. So. <laughs> Um, but yeah, they all get along and then we have a kitty cat. So I don't know. It's the best. It is the best. That house is I fun. still show Audrey pictures of dogs we should rescue on a weekly basis. It's and legit. I have a heart attack in my heart. Cause you want them. No, cause they like my carpet. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask after your Fort Collins trip, did, did Peyton end up eating the carpet? Well, she doesn't eat carpet. She just, she digs. Let me carpet. ask Audrey. <laughs> <laughs> Dig up a couple squares. Oh, did she? The Aww. usual spots. It, it was two Poor spots. Girl. We're going to replace them anyway, so it's fine. All right. Yeah. So. If anybody has any tips for thunderstorm anxiety. We'll take them. Leave them in the comments below. <laughs> <laughs> right. Nobody comments on this. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> cool. Can you just call me? They like, don't do Facebook that. Facebook me? Mm-mm. Instagram me. They do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Get involved. Please. Though, to that, yeah. I want to speak to the people right now being like, why are they not talking about the book? Oh, they tuned out well, m- it, hours ago. Sucked. But I'm, I'm, recap. I just want to make sure that we clarified on that. We're not talking about the book anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're like it an sucked. hour in. I picked Avalanche because this book sucked and so do Avalanche. <laughs> <laughs> I actually liked Avalanche. No, no, no. Not the beer, but avalanches oh. in, general. Oh. in general. Oh, let me... I want to relate one. Um, um, Pick one. Bonfire. Shit. Redhead. I'm choosing the redhead because the um, main character had red hair and she was awful. But I love I love the beer. She did? I'm going to nope. pick the beer that Audrey already um, drank, the bonfire. Uh, That's actually a good Brush one. Brush Creek because it was a fire. No. It was a pile how do you say this? <laughs> pile of trash that you you set, set on, on fire. fire. Therefore you have a bonfire around mm-hmm. this crappy book. Yeah. I'm sorry, I, I don't want to be a yelper. The next one is called Lucky You. <laughs> And for not reading it, that's me. Lucky Meg. That's why I take Lucky You because I didn't have to you read for the being book. here on the podcast today and not even reading. Okay, mine is Agave <laughs> Wheat, and I'm relating this to the book because. Ooh, that's a tough one. Because they they raised goats to make agave cheese. What? That's <laughs> and not a cheese thing. with agave on it. Because mm, she was she was like Ooh, fancy good. but poor. Mm. Ooh, <laughs> yes. And uh, she fed wheat to the goats. Yes, <laughs> she found wheat. Also, there's a skull on this, which means they died in their cabin. <laughs> <laughs> Is that part of the story? Yeah. No. Oh, I was like, who wrote the book? <laughs> they had a cabin. I, I'm pretty sure it was a true story. Yeah, it was a memoir. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> Which makes us worse. But, like, some people shouldn't write a fucking book. 
No, I I think the story should have been told, but the amount of detail she went. This is how many pages? At least three hundred, something like that. I don't know. And you guys don't even have a copy here with you. No, <laughs> we did not care. Yeah. We're like, oh, the library has unlimited copies. No thanks. Yeah. <laughs> I read. The, I listened to the audiobook. Yeah. I don't need it. I'm not buying that. Mm-mm. Um and. No, I think the story should have been told because it tells you not to go broke because then you have to go buy goats. <laughs> so, Good yeah. story. I think hey, the story should be told, that but not that many pages. Because if you are broke, you probably shouldn't buy some goats. They did. Oh, they did. That's why they In were fact, broke. I know exactly how much money they spent on those goats. I know what the goat looked like. <laughs> I, know I know how, how you're supposed to breed them. <laughs> did they go I know. on roofs? Have you seen goats on roofs? They didn't talk about it. They talked about goats so like doing goats it instead. They have you seen the goats about... at the Shining Mountain Zoo? No. They have like this really cool enclosure now, and they just go up uh, ramps, and they can pull up treats to like uh, the roof of their. Mm. Um, does anyone else hear a siren? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Just making sure. Yeah. <laughs> And so if the, you can hear the siren, I don't need to be this close to the microphone. Is no, I hear you just fine. No, I'm hearing it through the microphone, which is the weird part. I know. That's what I'm saying. I can stand way No, no you can't. Now you sound really far away. Drink. <laughs> oh, darn it. Uh, we love you guys. And... Oh, God. She's obsessed with love. I... She falls in love so easily. Well, people will listen to us Settle on a down. daily and write us love letters. Yes, I love them. Who are these people? And why don't they message me? <laughs> <laughs> I need some love too, guys. Beth Lemasani, find me on Facebook. I always go <laughs> I always go to the inbox before you do. It's true. You you um So everything is marked as red and you don't read them. Hmm. Just go to the inbox. It'll be good. Anyways. <laughs> do people love us? Yes. Aww. Anyways, we love you. Yeah. And Audrey does. Beth is in a like relationship hey, right hey, now. Hey. We know that. Yep. We know that. Takes a lot for me and to get there. And next week, <laughs> we'll let you know what we're going to read. For now, we want to make have sure no it's a idea. good book because I'm just really sad this week and I just want to find a good book. So Recommend just, us a good book. Maybe recommendations. I'll take them. We want like Oprah Book Club books. Yeah, I want something that maybe isn't Oprah Book Club, but <laughs> something that Oprah would book club. Yeah, like pre Oprah book club. Pre Oprah book club. <laughs> I'm here for the beer, so. Well, you can join us next week. This was fun. I feel like you should you should pick a beer first, and then pick a book based off the beer that you pick. Interesting concept. That's tough. We're gonna mix a lot that of idea, oh, but okay, thank right. you. <laughs> thank you for listening. All right. Anywho, love you, like you. Beer by the book. See you in the morning. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Cheers.